outside the iron bar, it's a bit quiet at the moment. But I've got Charlie with me. Come on, Charlie, what score do you reckon? I think probably 2-1 to Scunthorpe. 2-1 to Scunthorpe? Yeah. Let's hope so. Iron Bar, I've got Jack with me as always. He's going to a score prediction for tonight against Barnet. High flying Barnet. Uh, two ones to me. So, Reese has just walked up to me. It's been a long, long time. Come on, Reese, what's the score tonight? Two one again. Third time someone said that. Felix on the outside of the Iron Bar. You want to give a score prediction? What do you reckon? I think it'll be two one to score. Two one, that's the fourth time. Only has four people. But they've all said two one. Well, let's hope it's right, yeah. We enjoy the game as well. Yeah. Alright, cheers for that. Bye. 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 Score oh, prediction. Score prediction for tonight. Come I on. reckon, mate, because it's going to be buzzing. Yeah. I'm going to go 4 1. 4 1? Yeah, man. Let's I hope think, so. I think, I think we're having it tonight, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I do, yeah. Have a good time, mate. Well, I'm going to get a tenner on it anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, 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 what you gonna say? Two ones gonna hopefully. Two one again. Hopefully, if you get a few new signings, impressive it. Yeah, cheers. Up the iron! 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 iron. Come on, big win today. Three points in the bag. Come on! I've got Joe with me outside the Iron Bar, just watch Mark Donaldson play. What are you going to say? 2-1 today, I reckon. 2-1 again. Okay, so just watch Mark play. Um, enjoyable as always. The queues. Look at the queues. They're massive. Um, I'm even walking around this way now towards the car park. And there are queues. It's half past seven. Um, I reckon about 5,000 tonight. It's going to be a tough game, though. We're playing Barnet. They're fifth in the league. Not lost away since October against Wrexham. Um, yeah, the crowd absolutely buzzing. Website's been queuing to get tickets. I hope I get one over. Um, but yeah, this queue, <laughs> still going. Um, yeah, I just hope that there's not a sting in the tail against the bees, against Barnet. Um, it'd just be, it'd just be our luck, wouldn't it? You know, everyone's buzzing. And uh, yeah, but everyone, a lot of people, say everyone, a lot of people going to one scun for. Um, there's a real feel good vibe, and um, that's what we need, that's what we want. Don't let anybody in, anybody. Hello. Two more score predictions. 3-2 to Scunners. 3-2. Cut the field, bang, I think we're going to have to get a great start soon. 2-0. I've got win me, with me as well to give a score prediction. 2-1 to me. 2-1, that's another 2-1. Let's hope so. Cheers, Matt, we enjoy the game. Been delayed 15 minutes to kick off. Um, just getting the crowd outside, just getting the turnstiles. But it's going to be a tough game. Real tough. I'm Leek, the lad, the left back we've got on loan from Hull. He's got a big throw. Pleased to see it. I'm a bit of Ben Towser at Wrexham. Go on. Go on. Oh! First wheel save anyone had to make. Got a corner. Great play between Feeney and Ogle. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh. Jeremy McDonald is massive. 
He's going to get his shirt Let's ranked go, all over. Ways. It does. Referee's not seen anything there. How? I do not know. That was close. Go on. Go on here. Yeah, the, the ball doesn't spend a lot of time on the floor. So far in this game, we've been playing 21 minutes. There's a lot of aerial action. Both teams looking to attack, looking to get forward. So you can ask in it, really. Oh, it's a nice play this by scrum ball. Nice little touches. He's not going to say they'll know this game. But this referee, he's not giving us anything in all fairness. Okay, free kick to Barn, that's quite a dangerous place to get a ball in. 30th minute, 31st minute. It's gone straight in. No one's going to touch on it at all. Nothing to do now. Oh, from that was a great strike as well. Oh. well yeah, fair play to the Barnett fans. They're actually singing when they're winning. Not heard of any other time, but you know, they're going to be happy anyway with 1-0 away from home. Well, yeah, it's just a, just a bit quiet now, the call. Barnett fans have, you know, calmed down a bit. But yeah, it's just, just a bit of a lull. Five minutes before half time. Go on. Go on. Oh. What a chance. We're creating chances. Just need to put one away. So it's half time of being applauded. Um, there's work to be done. Good evening, everyone at Scum for United. Evening, Gary. Evening. This week is the biggest change we've ever had in 10 years or more. I, I, I'm shocked. I don't know what's happening. I don't know all the names of all the new players. They're a good team, Barnett. They're far from the top. 1-0 up, but I think we can do them 2-1, second half, yeah. to it. Yeah, I think we're going to push them. So I've come out second half, just started in, inside the lounge. I'm speaking to the Grimsby lads, four Grimsby lads. Um, one used to work in the academy here. It was nice talking to you, and thank you for the kind words. before the game but you know fans are on board There's, you know there's got to be around 5,000 here tonight and we've got a two week break coming up which is bad for the fans but it's good for the team you know it gives them a chance to to, to like you know work on things and in training get to know each other a bit better so I think keep our heads a bit you know it's all bad at the moment 10 minutes into the second half and they're still going. Oh. Yeah! 2-0. Took a shot, deflected at number eight again. I don't think there's any way back from this. But they've, they've come out all guns blazing in fairness to them. Um, yeah, like I said, 10 minutes. It's been all being them. About time. Please actually Great work by Beeson as well before that to win the ball, block it, win it and put it across. Come on! Okay, so 27 minutes left. Dion Sembe Ferris is coming on who we got from uh, Peter Sports. He's come with Jimmy Dean. And um, let's see what he's all about, you know. Very exciting things about him. Good things. How good. Just the dream. There you go, Donna. 
We've got their old ends. It's going to come out of the break, I'm like I did last week. Oh, get back into the game and they go and score minutes after. I guess that's a sign of a good side, isn't it? Too easy. That's a great run by Carno Van for them. That ball. Oh, they're just going to free kick, but yeah, Carno then pace. Got fast people, easy. What a score! Oh, it's a great save by Walker, that. Great save, great header by Dion as well. Good ball. But yeah, what a save. Just, just simple mistakes that we're making now. Midfielder at the back. Oh, my days like a space to go. Oh, come on. Sloppy. Um, you know, Barnett have come and done a job. They've looked clinical. They're fast. They're strong. And that's why they're up there. Yeah, uh, just over. 5,000 Scunport fans here as well tonight. I know, you know, there's been a big uplift in just how people are feeling. You know, new chairmen's come in, new managers come in, new players have come in. Um, but there has been, you know, as well, offers on bring a friend for a fiver, um, tickets for troops, which help as well, build the crowd. But we just got to remember, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Rome's not built in a day. So it would be nice to see, you know, some of these fans back. Um, you know, I'm not going to say we're going to have 5,000 back next game, but you know, it would be nice to get around four. And, you know, credit to the Barnett fan Sarum as well, there's 101 of those. There's train strikes on today, so yeah, if you come up from London, fair play. And that's it, it's all over. Um, fair play to Barnett, you know. Work to be done. But we've got two weeks now to build on the work things. So. Yeah, you know, and like I said, hopefully the majority of this car will be back. We've got 16 games left, so we've chance to still stay in this league. And that's our aim. That's only our aim this season. And I think we can do it, and we will do it up the aim. I think there was a lot of heart, a lot of passion there, but maybe they need to be a little bit more clever at times. Okay, mate. I just wanted to say, um, it was great to see a big crowd here. Great to see a good atmosphere again. But I just thought they was a little bit strong. You know, there was a good side then. And I knew what was going to happen today. All the razzmatazz about everything going on. But I, I do believe that we will, it will bring us forward, a new manager. And we just need these new lads to settle in. And I think, I've said it all along since Christmas, we will definitely stay up. Over to you, Laurel. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Put your hat on straight away. All right, me. OK. Two weeks ago, I would have took this. It was like winning the lottery for me. Absolutely unbelievable. New chairman, new manager, players coming in. It was just a dream. We are living the dream at the moment. OK, we lost 3-1 today, but hey, they're not going to gel overnight. Not, every, not going to win every game. We might go down, but we'll go down with a fight, I believe. No, I'm not saying we'll go down. I said we might go down. Are you getting Larry? No, not really. I'm just Right, saying, OK then. I said we, we might. We might, yeah, but OK. But thank you very much, Mr. Hilton, and all the backroom staff, and the new chairman, managers, everybody who's come in, players. Thank you for backing us. It's just great to see a buzz around the place yeah. again. Oh, you know, today, 5,100 like years. Ago. It was just a buzz. The only trouble is queuing up for beer, which is a problem, but hey ho, we all have crosses to bear. Um, Fortunately, they were the better side all around, really. The ref was well. Of course, they will a bit, Paul, but...